بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ناظرین السلام علیکم ٹرو وے آف لائف از اسلام میں آپ کو خوش آمدید کہتے ہیں کی محمد سے وفاتوں نے تو ہم تیرے ہیں کی محمد سے وفاتوں نے تو ہم تیرے ہیں یہ جہاں چیز ہے کیا اللہ و قلم تیرے ہیں آئیے ناظرین ڈاکٹر ذاکر نائک کے بیانہ سے مستفید ہوتے ہیں ہندو آئی سٹیڈ ہیئر فور last 36 years in Muslim country. I'm very happy to be in Bahrain until I die. Okay, another thing, I had a question with you that, as you told, Hindu says everything is God and the Muslim says everything is God's. Is there a problem that if Hindu says everything is God? The brother says that he's a journalist. He lives in Bahrain, lived in Bahrain for many years. I'm not a journalist, I'm an advertising guy. Oh, Shari. advertising guy, sorry. <laughs> He's advertising and creative something. Yes, I am for creative. I'm called Creative Shetty. Creative. And he said that lived in Bahrain for more than? 36 years. He lived in Bahrain for 36 years. He's, happened to, he's happy to live in Bahrain and happy to die in Bahrain also. Yes, sir. <laughs> no problem if you die here. But we'd like you to get the right guidance before you die. And you ask the question that Hindu, I said Hindu says everything is God, Muslim says everything is God. So what is wrong in Hindus saying everything is God? What is wrong? The Hindus aren't following the scripture. There's nothing wrong for me, yeah. but there's wrong according to Hindu scripture. Because the Hindu scripture says, Nata Sepati Ma Asti, Yajurvaya chapter 32 verse number 3, of that God there is no image. There is no photograph, there is no painting, there is no sculpture, there is no statue. So if you start calling other things God, you are going against your scripture. Not only are you going against your scriptures, you are going against even our scriptures. So Not that necessarily. I am quoting you Sanskrit. Do you know Sanskrit? I agree. I don't understand Sanskrit. Fine. Okay. So I am quoting you your verse. Unless you say, don't believe in the Veda. It's not a question of believing in the God. So if you say, don't believe in Veda, then I will fight. Don't believe in Veda, then ask, what do you believe in? It mentioned in Veda, it mentioned in Upanishad. As long as you are saying Hindu, there are two definitions of Hindu. The correct definition of Hindu is the geographical definition of Hindu. Like what? The, means anyone living in the land of Indus Valley, living in India is called a Hindu. By definition, I am a Hindu. Okay. Because if you read the book of Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru, Discover India, he said that the word Hindu is never found in any Indian scriptures until the Arabs came. The first time the word Hindu was used was by the Arabs. Hindi, Hindi, Hindi. They called me also Hindi. The Arabs used it. Hindi. That means <laughs> living in land of India. If you read even the Encyclopedia Britannica, it says it was a word used for the religious people living in India. Now, according to scholars, Hindu is the geographical definition. If it's a definition, I am a Hindu, you living in Bahrain cannot be a Hindu. Yeah, Bahraini. Not necessarily. I am a pure Hindu. Geographically Hindu means person. <laughs> that means you don't know the language. You can call yourself, you say I am a woman, you can call yourself a lady, I will not object. <laughs> but the problem is, <laughs> it's not like that. Well, Hindu means living in the land of Indus. You open the dictionary, if you don't know, you go home okay. and open the dictionary. Open Pandit Jawala Nehru's book. Everything, not necessary, every human being should know everything. Someone says 2 plus 2 is equal to 3. I said, Bhai sahab, it's not 3, it's 4. You should check up and if it's wrong, you should agree. So Hindu by definition means a person who lives in India. So by definition, I'm a Hindu. That's the reason the Arabs, they call me as Akir Hindi, Hindi. They call me Hindi, why? But later on, they picked up. It is not a religious definition. Therefore, this was later picked up by the sayings of the Arabs. And no, 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 don't, don't tell only Arab, the Hinduism is before, Arab we heard just now. <laughs> I want to give you a single quotation in any Hindu scripture before the Arabs came to India. Now Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru says in his book, Discover Islam, the word Hindu doesn't exist in the Hindu scriptures until the Arabs came. If you don't know, you are in creative, you are in the advertising field, so in advertising field you may be an expert. Okay. But in Hinduism you are not an expert. I am not. But, but if you are not, but you I am when, one. if you don't know, you should say I don't know. I will check up. You say no, no, no. So you are making a fool of yourself. 
you should reply me why we can't tell everything is a god i'm coming to it now first okay. you said i'm a hindu first i'm telling okay, you not a hindu yeah you are not a hindu i'm telling you ha ha because you're not living in india <laughs> i don't understand that i'm not a if not a modern muslim i'm a hindu i'm not a catholic if you're not a muslim and not a catholic you don't have to be a hindu yeah i'm hindu i'm born hindu <laughs> where were you born you born in india na where are you born no you are born in india then you are born indian born hindu but now because they living here by geographical difference now you say you are an american you want to say you say i cannot object no, no, no. tomorrow is i am an american okay fine i am not object what to do okay. if someone doesn't know the language what can i do i cannot keep on banging my head against the wall so coming to your first question you are hindu by geographical definition you are not okay coming to your second question what is wrong in hindu saying that everything is god if hindus who believe in the hindu scriptures they that if they say everything is wrong they are going against the scriptures so if you say what is wrong in saying 2 plus equal to 5 that means you are weak in mathematics if you tell me if a mathematician says 2 plus 3 equal to 5 what is wrong i will say you are a mathematician so if you are a hindu you cannot say everything is god because the hindu scripture the veda says na tasipat basti of that god there is no pratima the brahma sutra of hinduism means ekam brahman devata naste nena naste kinchan bhagwan ek hi hai dusra nahi hai nahi hai idhar bhi nahi hai no yet you want to say everything is god what less say so you are not following your scriptures yet you want to say 2 plus 2 is 5 okay say you are not a mathematician no no it's not a it's not a covering this one you only told you that hindus are telling everything is god is there any wrong in that it is wrong they are not following the scriptures no you, you, you that you mentioned that we don't agree i am quoting to you reference with reference <laughs> if you don't understand my reference what can i do if someone says 2 plus 2 is equal to 5 no you are telling us i will tell it as in i am quoting you in sanskrit do you understand sanskrit you say i don't understand so if you don't understand sanskrit you don't understand the scriptures that means you are not well versed with hinduism so if you are not well versed with the problem is in you not in me If you don't agree with the Hindu scriptures, no problem, brother. Ah, uh, anyway, thanks for that. Okay. Is it welcome? Bye. <laughs> Any ladies? Any sisters are non-Muslim? Yes, sister, most welcome. Hello. Uh, good evening, Dr. Zaka. Good evening. Um, I only came across you maybe a month ago. A friend of mine introduced me to. Um, Bismillah, Rahman, Rahim. Nazin, Assalamu alaikum. ट्रू वे ऑफ लाइफ इज इस्लाम में आपको खुश आमदीद कहते हैं कि मोहम्मद से वफातू ने तो हम तेरे हैं कि मोहम्मद से वफातू ने तो हम तेरे हैं ये जहाँ चीज़ है क्या लहू कलम तेरे हैं आइए नाजिन डॉक्टर जाकर नाइक के बयान से मुस्तफ़ होते हैं बसमिल्लाम नाजिन असलकुम ट्रू वे ऑफ लाइफ इज इस्लाम में आपको खुश आमदीद कहते हैं कि मोहम्मद से वफातू ने तो हम तेरे हैं कि मोहम्मद से वफातू ने तो हम तेरे हैं ये जहाँ चीज़ है क्या लहू कलम तेरे हैं आइए नाजिन डॉक्टर जाकर नाइक के बयान से मुस्तफ़ होते हैं